Ladies and gentlemen, it brings me great joy to my heart and soul to welcome you back to season two of Cops and Crooks, and it's gonna be feisty. Let me explain the new rooms. The crooks start in the far east. We have to make it to either Vespucci Beach, La Puerta Docks, or the Vespucci Canals. We have to hold out for five minutes while the team of cops are trying to chase us. When we arrive at the extract, we have to call in where we are. But after five minutes, we are not done yet. We have to make it here by car or here by boat, giving the cops one final chance to stop us. All minimaps and name tags are disabled. Are you ready? Let's just do this. And oh, because it's been a while, an extra long episode, because you guys are the absolute best and I love you all. So I hope you enjoy. Sit back, grab a nice beverage, because believe me when I say you will never find as much action as in this video right here. Let's go. The time is 2100. We get a mysterious call that our hideaway was about to get raided by the FBI. The heinous crime, I hear you ask. What if I told you two crooks have broken into Lester's house, hacked his computer, and bought two million worth of V-Bucks? And so, the biggest manhunt Los Santos has ever seen was on the way. We rushed outside and tried to get to the evac as fast as we could. We had no idea what was going to happen this time around, but all we know is the evacs are super close to one another, and the ways to get there are limited. So whatever happens, the cops will be all over us the moment things go south. We quickly headed down the highway into the city. We have to go deep on the cover once again. Playing it safe is from the utmost importance. We were looking around for police vehicles all around, but then, suddenly... God damn it, the FIB Buffalo, we were not prepared for this change. I got out of the car and I opened fire in the hopes I would throw him off a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. The chase was now on, but it was going to be an extremely short chase. We broke line of sight and dove straight onto the Maze Bank catacombs and now we wait. We wait until all cops pass. What car is he driving, Phoenix? We have been made. This is not good. We are trapped, cornered like a rat with the full force of the LSPD crashing down upon us like a tidal wave in any second. And this time, it might really be too late. Oh, I hear, I hear gunshots on my right here. The wind carried in silence as it blew through a crime scene in downtown Los Santos. Two officers lay dead on the street and the crooks are still on the run. Sirens are screaming, the entire police force is now here. But where are they? Where are they? Well, what if I told you? We are right here. Yes, moments earlier, just seconds after we took down the second cop, we hesitated not a single second and jumped in in this red van. Ladies and gentlemen, after all that action in the deep, dark, cold night, it was time to warm our bodies with a sweet, juicy, epic sprung stop. Well, juicy, to, to, be, to be very honest with you, this, this particular sprung, it, it tasted a wee bit funny, but it is what it is. What we did not know is that we have been spotted by a helicopter. Oh, the chopper's right there above us. Sprung stop, I knew it. Yes, they knew our sugar levels would drop at an all-time low after a little bit of action, and thus, we were once again in the heart of all danger. Well, the helicopters are coming now. We had arrived at the Vespucci Canal's extract, but ladies and gentlemen, this is not the time to extract at all. Call it in right here, right now. Death sentence. They are already en route. They are all nearby. We have to throw a curveball. And that we did by dumping the car and continuing on foot. We swiftly lost the helicopter. We have to move quickly now. So we ran to the south side of the Vespucci Canals in the hopes that we could simply cross the street and attempt to extract near the helipad. But no, the cops are all over yet again, and ladies and gentlemen, we are not ready for yet another shootout, and we are fighting on the back foot, but we managed to take down another cop. Oh shit. They're here, they're here, they're here. Fuck, uh, how do you call this shit? Where? Liquor hole, liquor hole, liquor hole, liquor hole, liquor hole. No, liquor hole, not lick her hole. God damn it. But don't mistake this for victories. Every cop dying is a trackable step for the cops. And now, we were yet in another chase. A quick 180. We hurry down the streets from where we came. Two choppers are now above us. Five FBI cars behind us. We take a quick ride and just smash the paddle to the goddamn metal. We had a pretty fast car, so we might have a chance here, but we would never stand a chance against a chopper unless 
We dive back into the Vespucci canals and try to lose them yet again. And this time, this time, we are splitting up. Bill out, bill out. All right, good luck. Oh, try and find a car and get the fuck out of there. Yeah, I will, I will. Dave is now on his own and I must try and dump this car. So into this dark alley I went. I dumped the car and yet started sneaking around again. They are still all over me, but now it's time to step up the sneak game. Even though there is a massive bag filled with glorious V-Bucks on my back, this might be so crazy it might work. But then, a copper just got absolutely flattened right in front of my eyes, ladies and gentlemen. A tragic sight and just a sad moment for the LSPD as the poor soul lays flat as a pancake on the sidewalk. A true tragedy for the LSPD, but another tiny victory royale for Team Croutier. I moved, but Dave was still stuck in the Vespucci canals. Unable to shake the helicopters, I could see them flying over Dave's head, but now it is time. It was now time to help Dave by calling in the initial extract. Only like this I might be able to save Dave and only like this might we be able to get out of this with a victory royale. I patiently waited but figured this spot is terrible. It takes but one helicopter to fly over the beach and I'd be spotted. But literally the second I moved down, not one, not two, but three cops showed up. My initial thought, don't move. But I knew I had to strike first, so it is time to channel my inner sprunk wick. One down, second one down, third one is alive, sneaking behind cover, but then... Peak once, sprunk wick will get you. But just like that, a fourth copper shows up straight out of nowhere, a quick roll, and just like that. The cop's brain decorated a niche beachside cafe window. I turn around and see him. Oh, I see him, I see him. Near the mask shop, near the mask shop. I repeat, Sonny is near the mask shop. I have to move now. I need time to reflect. I see and smell nothing but blood. My heart is racing. I move behind cover and I think to myself, what on earth? Was in that damn sprunk I drank earlier. My eyesight sharper, my senses overloaded, my heart racing, blood pumping, adrenaline violence, speed, momentum. Everything is overflowing right now. But I can't stay here. Quickly, move on. But then... Spotted again and I can't seem to get rid of GTA men. I have to face him by myself. As Dave is still feeling the wrath of the other side of the police force. A rush into the alleyway. I hop over this fence and now I wait. But there is no way out this time. I have to face him. I have to face the final boss. Ladies and gentlemen. For one it begins and for the other... It all ends. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> My god! <laughs> it's a massacre! Just brap them all! I stand before you, bloodied, tired, and about to fall upon my knees. I can't go on much longer, but then, as if Michael Bay himself is directing this goddamn film, one of the helicopters with gunmen showed up, and yet again, I find myself in a gunfight. I can't take much more. I need to go to the final extract right now. The helicopter has landed, and he has pinned me down on the beach. The only thing that is keeping me standing right now is the palm tree that I'm leaning against. I can't go on anymore, but I cannot quit. I pop a shot, but I get hit. One cop is pulling a flanking maneuver. I have to move now one more time. I rush out, but I get hit again as the blood from that hit hits my face. I pull the trigger and end the cop's life with a single shot. I run towards the middle of the street. It's time to contest the roof cop. Mm, face me, I yell. He starts shooting down, but just like that, one clean shot and his brains hit the gravel roofing of the apartment. And with my final bit of energy, I make my way over to the beach where another chopper has appeared. A bullet hit me from the side and I turn to get into the final gunfight. This is it. I still draw breath, but I see another copper race towards me. The end is now near. I don't have the stamina, the will, nor the ammo to finish the fight. Hello there. Dave, 
Dave, is that you? He hoisted me in the driver's seat of the car and told me, get to the damn extract, cause after a million years of playing this game, I still don't know my way around this goddamn map. Who's it? Look, look, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Unlucky lads! <laughs> and so I drove. My mind went numb. All around me, violence, death. We drove onwards but never spoke a word of what happened. So much death. For a couple of V-Bucks. So much death. We made it to the extract. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. We have won the Cops and Crooks, and thus, this is not only the pilot episode of Season 2 Cops and Crooks, but also the epic finale. Okay, but real talk. Let's talk about what happened for real. So, what we are playing here is a custom game mode, and what happened is, Floorball, who made this custom game mode, accidentally made it so that we, the Crooks, have the same health the damn beast has. We did not have a clue this was a thing. If you look at the beginning of the video, we are actually like wondering why we kept hearing beast noises coming from our feet. We didn't expect that we would actually have beast health. Anyway, at the end of this onslaught, we finally figured it out. Dude, how did I not die? I don't understand. Like, am I... Like, I'm starting to believe I'm invincible or something. Are we like, nah. are we like the beast, maybe? Maybe. Beast health? That might be why we're hearing the noise. So yeah, what happened here was just too good to not turn into a video. So ladies and gentlemen, this round is officially counted as a draw. No W's, no L's. Floorball had adjusted everything since. And next week, we will have episode two. As it is meant to be played, ladies and gentlemen. That leaves me to thank all the members for all the crazy support. There is 104 of you now. And I appreciate every single one of you. But I want to single one person out in particular who just uh, became a member yesterday which is Floorball. Floorball is the creator of the job, the Cops and Crooks game mode, so thank you so much for uh, all the work you do, for be being the referee on these uh, missions, and also, of course, for now becoming a member. All you guys are freaking great, though, and yeah, for real, thank you all. If you want to become a member too, receive videos early, join the members only Discord, receive other perks, be sure to press that join button, and yeah, with that all being said, uh, peace out.